So I welcome you in Jesus' name. Can you tell us your name, your age, what you do for a living, and also who is sitting next to you? Good morning, people of God. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. The story I'm about to tell you is a test of my name, sorry. Venerable Bama Victor. I'm a retired Anglican priest. I served the Anglican communion for 15 years before I retired. The woman next to me is my, the, the wife of my youth. <laughs> you must cherish the wife of your youth. I'm, I'm climbing on 82 years. The story I'm about to tell you is um, what the logo or the propaganda message of this church that distance is not a barrier. I am of the Anglican communion. As you will know how people behave, I should not have anything to do with the synagogue. But the faith of God, the faith, will, if you demonstrate it, if you, if you have it, you can, you, can, you can tell that mountain to move and it will move. Mountain is not a physical thing. It not, it's not, does not exist anywhere. Illness is a mountain. And that is what I had. I had pains in my ear. And you know, if you have pain in your ear, you will lose balance. So I started to fall in places where I, don't, I didn't need to. Sometimes I fall in my room. So I was afraid that I may not be able to attain the age of 91, 81 that I am today. But one night, my wife scrolled on to uh, uh, TV, Emmanuel TV, and I was there. I sat down lazily and was looking at what was happening. But whatever the prophet directs, I will do. He said, affliction. Everybody will say, go. Affliction, I also said the same thing. Out. Out. At the end of that session, I went into my room and I started to have slight pain on my temple. I struck it a number of times and the pain ceased. But following that immediately, I had some sensation in my nose. And also following that, the right, the, my right nose ray was blocked. So I didn't know what it was. I thought it was mucus. So I sucked it into my mouth and spat it out. It was like a, a twig. I called my wife. I said, something has come out from my nose. We used the touch light and found that it was, uh, we found a rubber band. Rubber band is, is very many in my room. So I thought if it was a rubber band, then it was witchcraft. So we brought it out and burnt it. I was still having that urge having that urge to look. So I took the torchlight, I started to look. And the evidence of what I saw is what is in this bottle. It's about six inches long warm. You can imagine if this is in your body, you cannot live long. I went to many doctors, I went to many doctors, I went to ENT specialist, and she gave me drugs. I also went to a, 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 a physician who gave me exactly the same drug. They did nothing for over two years. So I was battling with this problem until that fateful day when I put my hand 
on the television and said what the prophet was directing. And this worm came out of my body. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's clap for wonderful Jesus Christ once again. You heard it from our grandfather. He said, merely praying alongside with Prophet T.B. Joshua on Emmanuel TV right in his own house. He never knew that what, that what was tormenting him all this while was this terrible worm that was right inside his system. He could not hear well. He was feeling dizzy. Each time he stand up to walk, he would stumble and fall. He couldn't do anything. He'd been to several hospitals taking lots of drugs all to no avail. But the moment he prayed alongside with Prophet TB Joshua on Emmanuel TV, this worm came out of him through his nose and through his mouth. This is a clear proof that indeed distance is not a barrier. And our Father, we do respect ever since this worm has come out of you, what are the things you can do now? I'm not, I don't stagger. And I hear perfectly well. Amen. At that time, I couldn't bite a bone. But listen to how I rattle my teeth. <laughs> Shall we clap for wonderful Jesus Christ? You heard it from my father. You can see the sound of the gnashing of his teeth. He said before now you could not bite at all because of the pain as a result of that worm inside his system. But ever since he prayed alongside with Prophet TB Joshua and God brought out this worm, he said he could bite as strong as a young person. Let's clap for wonderful Jesus Christ. <laughs> now, our dear Father, with what the Lord has done in your life, what word of advice do you have for all who are listening to you? Sorry, I have a second testimony. <laughs> that one is uh, it follows the same pattern the prophet was praying and he said those who eat with dead people in the night I knew that I was eating with dead people in the night in the dream so as he was praying I was rubbing my stomach downwards then immediately I felt some movement in my stomach and the urge to go to the toilet so I rushed to the toilet, and the only thing that came out was a round object as big as a ping pong, looking exactly like a walnut. I didn't take the picture of that because it was inside the water. Praise the Lord. Let's clap for wonderful Jesus Christ. And ever since you pass out that stuff, do you still eat with dead people in the dream? No dream anymore. The, that, that, the, what happened was on the 20th of last month, till today I don't dream of any dead person or eating with them. Shall we clap for wonderful Jesus Christ? We rejoice with our dear Father for what the Lord has done in his life through the medium of watching Emmanuel TV. And finally, sir, with due respect, what word of advice do you have for all who are listening? Um, I will refer to the psalmist who said, If you hear the voice of God, do not harden your heart. Today, the voice of God through the prophet is here is louder and clearer and is heard in all the continents. So, brother and sister, why will you not listen to the prophet? Now, I imagine, I'm going to imagine that very shortly, this synagogue is going to become a pilgrimage destination. That is, people will come from all over the world, not because they are sick, but to come and taste of what is happening here. To come and taste of the prayers. To come and taste of the, of the sermon. To come and taste of the teaching. So, 
brothers and sisters, I call on you. If you are far off, it doesn't matter. Distance is not a, it's not a barrier. I call on you. God loves you. Jesus loves you. The prophet of the Most High God, T.B. Joshua, he also loves you. He loves you with a passion. So thank you very much, our dear Father. I believe all have listened to that word of advice, and I believe they will make effective use of it. And let's hear from your wife. We believe she has one or two things to contribute to your wonderful testimony. I welcome you in Jesus' name. Introduce yourself to us. Emmanuel. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Mrs. Christian Obama. I'm 66 years old. I confirm what my husband, my beloved husband, has said to be true. And now, you can see how fit he is, even at the age of 82. Going to 82, he could chew bone, but before this time, he could not do anything. I thank God Almighty. I give him the glory for using the great prophet, T.B. Joshua, to do mighty works on this land, in the whole world, in the lives of men and women. Amen. And, f and finally, our dear mother, what word of advice do you have for all who are listening to you? Uh, I want to use this, I want to seize this opportunity to use this medium to remind and to advise the doubting Thomases and the faithless Pharisees, in quote. <laughs> still saying something. Don't harden your heart as in the day of provocation. God is still, uh, the purpose of God will be established in this country, in this synagogue, in the name of Jesus. God is still saying something. So don't harden your heart. That is the only advice I have for them. Let's clap for wonderful Jesus Christ. Y estamos escuchando este maravilloso testimonio de sanidad a través de ver Emanuel TV y orar junto al profeta TV Joshua cuando él está orando por los espectadores. Este eh, eh, retirado, él es un padre anglicano, viene a contar su maravilloso testimonio de cómo Dios lo sanó de un problema que tenía en sus oídos por más de dos años. Él decía que él tenía un sonido que realmente lo perturbaba y al mismo tiempo le hacía perder el balance y por eso motivo, él se caía fácilmente. Además, él le traía muchas incomodidades y le evitaba llevar a cabo sus actividades. Dice que un día su esposa estaba viendo Emanuel TV cuando el justo llegó y él en ese momento, el profeta estaba orando por los espectadores y él decidió orar con el profeta TV Joshua. Dice que empezó a sentir algo extraño en su cuerpo y algo muy extraño en su nariz y de repente salió un una lombriz de su nariz es la lombriz que él está sosteniendo en este momento en su mano era lo que estaba afectando su vida, su oído y todo su organismo, así que a través de él orar junto al profeta Tibi Joshua la causa de su problema fue expulsada de su cuerpo y además cuenta que le dio algo en el estómago y cuando fue al baño también expulsó algo que él dice no tiene explicación y a partir de ese momento ese sonido en sus oídos desapareció y hoy está sano y muy saludable para la gloria de Jesucristo. To the glory of God, we do respect our Father. We want you to know that right now the man of God is listening to your testimony and he said he wants to listen to you the more and that uh, he doesn't like the way I interrupted you for not allowing you to express yourself further. That that he wants a situation whereby, based on your age, 82 years old is not a joke. And what you're saying here is mind-blowing and a big lesson for all our sundry. So we do respect, so I want you to express yourself the more. What advice do you have to give to the whole world and what do you have to say about your experience based on your age, sir? 
Well, God is still speaking. He has, still has plenty of things to tell us. And you can hear God through the prophet, the prophet of the Most High God. What he has done for me, through, mainly through the television, is a miracle. When I mentioned it in my church, you know our church, you know as them be. They don't want to hear about any church where they make progress. But I said, no, this is not something I can keep to myself. I must tell the whole world that there is a man in Nigeria, in Lagos. <laughs> and in the synagogue that can do a lot of things to help humanity. Now, it has touched my life and he will touch the life of my children as time goes on. Praise the Lord. Shall we put our hands together beautifully for the miracle working God. I believe it is the prayer of every one of us here seated to get to the age of Baba. Baba has come a long way. I will pray the Lord Jesus Christ who has been with him will continue to be with him until the Lord calls him to glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we put our hands together beautifully for the miracle working God. Amen. And our Father, we do respect. We thank you so much for taking time out of your time schedule to honor the invitation, to share your testimony with the young ones and the people of God. We pray the Lord Jesus Christ will continue to strengthen you in Jesus' name. Let's clap for wonderful Jesus Christ. Y al continuar escuchando el consejo de nuestro padre, de la forma en que él recibió su sanidad a través de la televisión, de orar junto al profeta Tibi Joshua cuando él está orando por los espectadores, él dice que realmente eso es un milagro y aconseja a todos a confiar en Dios y le advierte a todos que hay un hombre de Dios en Nigeria que está siendo realmente utilizado por Dios pues fue así como él recibió su sanidad y la restauración en, en su organismo en el nombre poderoso de Jesús vous êtes le témoignage merveilleux de notre père ici présent avec sa femme qui nous dit qu'il est un prêtre anglican en retraite. Pendant des années, il a été malade, souffrait des problèmes dans ses oreilles, ce qui l'empêche, ce qui le faisait perdre son équilibre et il tombait souvent. Il a dit une nuit, sa femme a regardé les TV et l'homme de Dieu, le prophète Tibi Joshua, a prié. Et il a mis sa main sur l'écran et il a prié en en accord avec l'homme de Dieu, il a senti une sensation bizarre dans son corps et dans son nez surtout. Et tout d'un coup, il s'est rendu compte que quelque chose est sorti de son nez. Et c'est un verre. C'est le verre que vous voyez dans le bocal qui tient un verre et sorti de son nez. Et depuis ce jour-là, il entend bien. Il a pris son équilibre. Il est complètement guéri. Il a dit la coach n'a pris avec l'homme de Dieu au téléphone et quelque chose lui est sorti de son estomac. Dieu l'a guéri instantanément en priant en accord avec l'homme de Dieu, le prophète Ibi Joshua. Le conseil qu'il donne à tout le monde, c'est d'écouter que c'est un prophète au milieu de nous. Il y a un prophète de l'éternel au milieu de nous. Nous devons nous débarrasser des choses traditionnelles et reconnaître que la parole d'autorité est au milieu de nous. Il y a un prophète au milieu de nous. Dieu l'a secouru, Dieu l'a délivré à travers la prière de foi avec l'homme de Dieu, le prophète Ibi Joshua. Que Dieu vous bénisse.